Good morning. I am a minute early. So, I'm going to wait for a few people to get in, and we will get started. How are y'all doing this morning? Feel free to ask questions, make statements. You know, as long as you're not talking junk about me, we good. But you can do that too, because I'm used to it. Drinking a little cranberry juice this morning. All right, so good morning. Um, for those who do not know me, I'm Kevin King. I'm the executive director of uh, the King's Canvas Gallery and Studio. Um, first of all, I wanna uh, take the time to thank uh, Laura uh, for inviting me on this live and uh, a huge shout out to Laura Bachman. Hope I pronounced your name right, Laura. Um, shout out to Angie Dotson. You know, who's been texting me up until this point saying that she's excited and everyone else at Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts. So I have you for 30 whole minutes and we're going to have a great time. So just to let you know how this thing is going to go, we start off at my home. You know, I'm going to walk around my home and show you some of the paintings that I've done over the past few years because I just didn't want to load all these things up and take them to the studio just to be at the studio. I literally live a block over from my studio. So welcome to the hood. Welcome to Washington Park. We're gonna look at some artwork. Feel free to ask questions. And um, hopefully I see them and hopefully I'll be able to answer them. But if not, forgive me. Charge it to my head and not my heart. Y'all wanna jump right into it? All right, here we go. So one of the things that I love doing uh, I've only been doing art for about, well, I've been painting for about six years. I'm explaining that as I'm on the way to the King's Canvas. But I've always, because of the way that I've grown up, I've always um, been sort of a uh, an advocate, activist. I've always been uh, involved in like social issues. And so a lot of my artwork that I do personally reflects that. Uh, outside of my commissions, uh, most of the work that I do, you know, has some sort of um, social driven thing towards it. So the first one that I'm about to show you was from 2014, it says. Now, I started painting June of 2013, but 2014, I did this painting. Now, this was before this is uh, dealing with our education system. This was before the whole Boot the Boy campaign. Uh, shout out to our school board now. But this is before the Boot the Board campaign, and I think this is still relevant um, as it relates to our education system overall, specifically um, how our education system look in communities such as the one that I live in. All right, so I'm going to turn this around. All right, so, all right, so this is something that I did. Can everyone see that clearly? Can you see it? All right, cool. So... This is something that I did in 2014, and the title uh, is titled, Dear Board of Education, So Are We. Right? So that's a play on words. Dear Board of Education, So Are We. We're bored. Even though I know that, you know, board is spelled differently. Um, I use it as a play on words to, un you know, to kind of get people to understand that, yo, our creativity is it being brought out in our education system and we aren't being treated as individuals. Uh, we're being treated as if all of us learn the same and we don't. So I don't have time to break all of this down because <laughs> I only have 30 minutes. I can literally spend 35, 40 minutes talking about each individual component on here, but make sure you visit Art by Kevin King on my Instagram and Facebook uh, just so you'll see the interpretation of it. But there's a that's a lot in this, but just to, just to let you know, this celebrates the educator uh, who's wearing many hats. I kind of want to break it down, but I don't, I don't have time. It's already 10.04. So uh, this was dealing with our education system. Dear Board of Education, so are we. All right? So let me flip this around. All right, so the next one. Um, I put this one in, a, in an art show, and most of the stuff that you will see, I've uh, first shown at uh, Tracer Howell's uh, Artists on Tap, and I uh, got overwhelming responses, but I also have some, got some people that looked at me crazy. You know, I even got one guy who mentioned to another guy, 
that he thought that I hated America, right? And it's, I love the country that I live in, right? But of course, I don't like what our country has perpetuated since its inception. But hey, I'm a resident here. We got to deal with it. But we also have to speak out against our issues, right? That's part of my upbringing. And I'm going to talk about that later. All right, so this one. All right, so this one is uh, very rough. It's very deep. You see in the background, we had a preamble to our constitution. We have our state. I mean, not our state, I'm sorry, but our nation, our country. And uh, basically, this narrative walks us through, uh, you know, from slavery to mass incarceration. Don't have time to break all of the symbolism down, uh, but this walks us through uh, slavery to mass incarceration. And uh, this gentleman uh, with the ski mask on, uh, with the money covering his mouth, he represents uh, just the ills or the evils that our country has perpetuated. So anyway, like I say, it's 10.05. Don't have time to break it down. That's one of them. Uh, go to my IG and Facebook and check that out later. All right. So another thing, when Colin uh, Kaepernick came out and he kneeled and uh, that was a lot of uh, misconceptions of why he did it. Uh, but ultimately, one of the things that I got out of not only him, but what we've been hearing from uh, just artists and entertainers and activists all along is sometimes people just don't want to hear that their voices. And even us as individuals who don't have a platform, sometimes people don't want to hear our voice and we are often silenced, right? And so I created this piece that I'm about to show you uh, that represent uh, the First Amendment. Um, and so a lot of my... Uh, imagery, I didn't say this before, it has the colors red, white, and blue somewhere in it, and, and it usually has our American flag. Not my commission pieces, but my non-commission pieces usually have the symbolism of a flag or the colors red, white, and blue symbol, uh, symbolizing our nation. All right? All right, flip this around here. So this is like an Uncle Sam uh, type of gentleman who... Uh, it's wearing a whole get up there and he's offering his gifts to the world. I'm not going to interpret it, but he's being asked to keep silent. And so I kind of use words uh, on the side to kind of uh, convey the message that I wanted to communicate dealing with the uh, First Amendment. But that one is also on my uh, Art by Kevin King Instagram and Facebook. So go and check it out. Find it now. I'm walking through the house right now. And another thing that I like to do, I live in Washington Park, um, which is a, an economically stressed area. And so one of the things that I like to do is to show the beauty of our community, even though um, our neighborhood uh, lack material uh, resources. Or, and, I, and I wouldn't say that we lack material, material resources. I can say that we have been uh, economically stressed, disenfranchised. If you know the history of this community, um, you'll know that Martin Luther King, Harry Belafonte, Samuel Davis Jr., Nina Simone, a lot of people uh, on the 7 of Montgomery March camped out literally a block away from me at St. Jude. So this community has historical significance, but also when the interstate we run through our neighborhood, it uh, basically broke up the black business district, and uh, it hadn't recovered since 1972. So some of the things that we're trying to do with the King's Canvas, especially as we work with local businesses, is trying to highlight those businesses and bring back a revenue stream to our community and promote uh, un entrepreneurship, uh, community, and economic development. With that being said, I love my neighborhood. I also did this one in 2014. Uh, this was, and my style has evolved since then, but this is the Triangle Store, which is located right across the street from where I used to work, at Common Ground Montgomery. Um, and... Uh, I'm gonna show you some more when we get back when we get up to the King's Canvas. But basically, I want to represent the beauty of our community uh, by you know uh, painting pictures of it of our community as they are, as our community is, and I want to kind of retrain the way people think about our community. And this is another one, real quick. All right, so that's the train bridge on the corner of. I think that's Beecher and Mobile Road and have a sidewalk tunnel. And in the back, you can vaguely see uh, Gibbs Village uh, Housing Authority along with uh, the city line bus, um, you know, in the back. So anyway, all right, I'm out of breath, y'all. Y'all ready to take a ride?
All right, we about to roll through the hood. About to roll through the hood with me. That's no telling what may happen out here. Because my neighbors are always saying some stuff, shouting at me. It's pretty quiet right now, so that's cool. We can get up here and get at it. So, as I drive, I'm going to tell you, I grew up doing art. Grew up doing art uh, from as far as I can remember, all the way through high school. And I was told in so many words, uh, you need to get a real job, pick a real major, art is good as a hobby, but you can't make a living off of it. So I went to Tuskegee University. You see I'm wearing a shirt. Went to Tuskegee University, majored in mechanical engineering. But the whole time I used that as a way, or I wanted to use that as a way to try to figure out how to, uh, one of my neighbors are walking in the street. Hold on for a second, y'all. Let, let's see what he's talking about. Mr. Brooks, how you doing, neighbor? I'm on the phone, I'm on uh, Instagram with Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts, man. I took over the IG Live. What you gotta say man, to I him? I want to congratulate you, man. You know, the West Side Association, I'm glad you're part of the pro program. You know, West Cotbill, the neighborhood association, you a good neighbor, man. And I hope you keep probably all the neighbors are behind you 100%. All right. And I hope you keep good work up. Appreciate hey, you, man. You know what? I'm all with right. you, brother. I'm a ride or die. All right, we got to go. Holler yes, at sir. you, man. Yes, Thank sir. you. Thank you. All right, y'all. That was Mr. Brooks. That's my neighbor. So where was I? Uh, so basically, I went to Tuskegee University, majoring in engineering, trying to figure out how to use um, art. Then I realized after all of these internships and co-ops that I had that, yo, this ain't the same. This isn't the level of creativity. Um, this doesn't allow me to uh, function uh, like I need to function and use the creativity that I feel like the Lord has given me, right? And so I did that uh, for a while. I even uh, worked in the engineering department at UPS for a minute uh, as a part-time suit. Um, and I ended up just saying, yo, I love dealing with people. And so I went into the nonprofit space and worked with Common Ground for like 14 years. And it was six years ago when my wife, uh, we was going through a lot, you know, in the community. And my wife uh, purchased me art supplies and basically said, I'm taking away your excuses not to create. You know, that was cool. Got the art supplies. I got to put some hand sanitizer on my hands when we walk in. We ain't supposed to be touching on nobody and I'm shaking folks' hand out here. Um, she brought me the art supplies and then broke her wrist that next month. And so guess who got the chance to take care of her for a whole um, week or two in the house? Me, I got bored, right? Got bored, so I pulled out those art supplies and I started creating. I haven't stopped creating since. And so for me, this is brand new. This is brand new. Um, I've been at this for six years, and it almost seemed like I'm trying to play catch up. And a lot of people say, Kevin, we didn't even know you, you did art. And I say, well, I did it growing up. And you can look at my old school art by Kevin King Instagram page, another plug, and look at my work from sixth grade to um, 12th grade. So we're at the King's Canvas. Welcome to the King's Canvas studio. Uh, this is a place that uh, provides an opportunity for underdeveloped and underexposed artists uh, in Montgomery. And, ooh, we had 1013. Good timing, good timing. I'm going to show you a few pieces right quick. First of all, I love hip hop. Um, most of you know that I love hip hop. Uh, I grew up uh, Mobile, Alabama. I was born in 1978. That's the year that hip hop. I think went commercial. It was out before then, but it kind of went commercial and mainstream during that time, around the time of Rapper's Delight. So I grew up in it. And the groups that I grew up listening to had a message, especially back in the 80s. Like in the early 80s, uh, it got a lot more politically charged when gangster rap came out, uh, 89, but we can still relate to that too because the things that those guys were talking about were things that we were also seeing in our community. So this young man right here was one of my Favorite rappers, he's winking at you. You got Tupac. I want to show a picture of Tupac um, 
that wasn't sad, that wasn't depressed. I kind of want to show a bit of his personality. So, yo, I did that, all right? So, uh, we have here, I did this for uh, 21 Dreams, it's um, Black Culture 2020 last year. That's Fred Shuttlesworth. Uh, he was a uh, pastor in Birmingham, Alabama, civil rights activist. Uh, they bombed his home, which was right next to his church. He was involved in the lunch counter sit-ins, as well as the um, um, the Freedom Rides and, you know, KKK bombed his home. Tried to run him out of the city, but he was a rebel and he wasn't having it. This guy right here, A.G. Gaston. A.G. Gaston was a, um, a millionaire who supported the... Um, a lot of the civil rights workers in Birmingham and all around. So that's one of my pieces. That's one of the first time I added sort of a print. And we're going to kind of do that in the demonstration later on. Right here, this is a recreation. Can y'all hear me clearly? Tell me y'all can hear me. I hadn't even been reading the comments. Okay, so um, this was a recreation of another piece I had done. We did Kurt Hatcher and uh, Tashina Morris asked me to do this for our... Um, MLK Day weekend this year, all right? And this is the one uh, that's been on a promotional flyers. This is Radio Raheem. Uh, he's a representation of 1989 movie, Do the Right Thing. Uh, one of my favorite movies. Um, I've had that medallion and that black fist since like, like the 80s, all right? And so you, if you've read the promotion material, you know what that represents, so I don't have to go into it. I also talked about my community. This is Gibbs Village Housing Authority right here, right? So um, I want to represent and show the beauty uh, of our community, no matter if it's a home that we live in like mine or uh, the housing authority that some, where some of my friends live. <sighs> All right, y'all, I'm out of breath. I got to do this thing in 30 minutes, and we are at 10, 16 right now. All right, so we're going to do a little demonstration. Um, I decided that I didn't, I didn't have, I didn't necessarily have time to paint anything or to pull out any, um, those type of supplies and to show little demonstrations like that because I don't have time. But what I am going to do, I found this little feature on here that shows, um, pictures. So, uh, it's a young lady in town uh, by the name of Miss uh, Aretha Taggart. And Miss Aretha, if you are in here, I don't know if you're in here or not, but if you're in here, just say hello to the people, Miss Aretha Tager. Uh She has a, a business called uh, Mommy's Dance and Fitness. So she commissioned me to uh, do a painting of her a while ago that I finally worked out with and I'm just, just not getting around to it. And it was perfect for this because with a lot of my paintings that I do as far as uh, people are concerned, and I'm not really a, a people painter, right my, my junk ain't gonna look realistic it's gonna look kind of cartoonish but i like it that's my style but i started to doing i started doing these backgrounds and i said the first time i had done it was that ag gasson uh painting um i think that was but then i did it again um a young lady who my wife and i mentored uh had a baby shower and if anyone knows me in the hood they know i hate baby showers i don't go to them i get you a gift but i ain't coming to your baby shower because I don't want to be playing those silly games that y'all try to get us to play and embarrass us. And so I told her, the only way I'm going to come is if I show up at the baby shower and do a live painting. Because I love live painting, right? I love painting out in front of large groups. I've done, I can't even count how many weddings I've done. I just love it, right? Um, I'm kind of shy when it comes to my own persona, but when it comes to my art, uh, it's like I love the attention, like when I'm out amongst the crowd. And I don't think I, I don't think it's the fact that I love the attention. I think uh, I just love people. I love interacting with people. I love engaging with people. That's why this whole COVID-19 thing is kind of um, been a little rough on your boy because I haven't been able to interact with people uh, in person as much, you know, as we did before. So I painted this picture of this young lady and she was pregnant. And after I got done with the painting, I added the background to it using stencils. And uh, after I did it, I was like, you know what? I think I want to keep doing this. So I've done a few. And I came in last night. I'm going to take Fred down right quick. 
I came uh, in last night and just kind of put something together. And I guess I can't show you right now because it's all covered up. But I'm going to try to show you these images. Uh, let me see here. No, nope, that's not it. Okay, here it is. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, so I did this, right? It's, it's nowhere near done. She's actually going to have on like a leopard print dress when I get done with it. I just kind of came in real quick and just put some down, all right? And uh, one of the things that I've done also is I use tracing paper. I put the tracing paper over the image, traced out the image, cut it out, right? After I cut it out, I place the image uh, or the tracing paper, I taped it down over the image. Man, this is really cool, man. I, I'm glad um, Instagram added this feature, man. This is pretty dope. All right, so how do I uh, get up out of here? Okay. I guess I should have remembered how to do that. Okay, here we go. All right, and so I'm going to turn this around. And, and just keep in mind, I'm not done with the painting yet. <clears throat> and the weird thing about this is this is my first time actually doing the stencil before the painting is complete. Usually the painting is complete. Then I do the stencil uh, because I, I love it when like the residue of the spray paint gets on the actual image. It just adds a certain flavor to it, right? Uh, but I'm not done with Miss Aretha, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this anyway, and we're gonna see if it works. So, all right, this is it right here. We about to go outside, y'all. I gotta do this outside. Can't do this inside because I don't feel like getting high right now. Well, I say it right now. I don't feel like getting high at all. So, uh, and that's a quick way to get high. Using spray cans, spray paint on the inside. Okay. So, got my supplies out there. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to get my tripod and my paint. So, we can see what's going on. How about that? All right. Man, I'm making good time, y'all. I got eight minutes, y'all. This was dope. Now I asked y'all to ask questions, but I hadn't even been looking, so I don't even know if you asked anything. Oh, check this out. Check this out, y'all. This how it is when you come to the hood. Got Barbara Gales over there. If uh, if you need a good breakfast, this is the place to come. This is the place to come. All right, so. Y'all see me? Tuskegee. All right. So I have Miss Aretha right here. I line this up, get it centered. Oh. I guess I should have taken this tape off. I've used this one before. I used this on Miss um, Marilyn Hobbs' son's painting. And I guess I should have checked to see if they had tape on it before. But we good now. Y'all good? All right, seven more minutes. Just got to line that thing up right. Because after I put this paint on that thing, you can't do nothing about it. All right. I saw Amy on there trying to tell me what to do. Amy, I told you I'm grown. I told you to stop trying to tell me what to do, especially in public. I'm a grown man. I'm just playing. All right. So I'll drop for a minute. All right, so that's it. So we have about six more minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let that sit for a few minutes, and I'm going to pull it off and take it back inside and show you how it looks. All right, so 
while we waiting these two minutes, I need for y'all to ask some questions. I'm talking about some real questions. Don't be silly now, uh, Amy. That's my homegirl, Amy. Um, Amy Campbell is the West Side Librarian. All right, so who has a question? All right, Amy, no insults. I don't, you know, I don't play that junk. Any questions? Who are my inspirations? Ooh. Man, so I'm going to tell you, uh, one of my, I think my first inspiration was Ern, uh, Ernie Barnes. And it's pretty cool because I, I, I promise I didn't steal this, y'all. But I just never told anyone until after he said it. Uh, Milton Bowens is a uh, dope artist, man, out of Sacramento, who's now in Moton, Alabama. Now I could consider him one of my art mentors. But um, he said this, and I was like, yo, that's, a, that's my story, too. But growing up watching Good Times, the first time I had even seen anyone do anything on artwork was JJ. And then uh, some of the images that would come on um, within the ending credits of the show, well, yeah, I don't think it was the opening credits, it was the ending credits. Um, that painting was on the Marvin Gaye album cover that my brother had. So I was like, that's JJ's painting. And then I later on discovered that it was actually uh, Ernie Barnes who had painted it. So I love color. Uh, and I love the colors in it. I love the black people dancing in the sugar shack. You know, I just love that. I can, that, that resonated with me. And so that's one of my, um, one of my major ins inspirations right there. So, um, yeah, so thank you for asking me that. You know, and all of you, you know, inspire me. I think one artist right now uh, who's always um, pushing me in a healthy way is uh, Lynthia Edwards. Uh, she's that person. If, if you don't want your feelings hurt, don't call and ask her about your artwork. But if you want to grow, you need to ask her about it because she's going to definitely give you some constructive criticism that ain't going to sound constructive sometimes, but she's going to do it in love. You got to have some thick skin. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm stuck, that's who I call. I'm like, yo, what do I do with this? And she always had an answer. I don't always do what she say do, because sometimes it's like you got to do your own thing. But she's uh, definitely, I think, contributed to a lot of my uh, my best pieces just by giving me her input. Okay? Uh, and that was Tony. Uh, Tony, Tony that asked that question. Uh, really uh, dope artist. I've been pretty uh, impressed and thankful uh, just to see her, you know, just not really doing that much art to, like, just doing it all of the time now. That's, that's, that's pretty dope. Anyway, three more minutes, y'all. Let's go outside and see what's going on. Let's see how this thing coming along. All right, so. All right. I guess I'll come back out and get that job later. Two more minutes, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna turn this around. Like I said, keep in mind, the image is not done yet, all right? But it's gonna have that background to it. She's gonna have on her uh, leopard print dress. I wish I would have been able to finish that, but hey, it'd be like that sometime. And um, when I get done, it's really gonna bring out that background. So anyway, I didn't know how that was gonna turn out, especially looking at the color choice, but I like the color choice and that's it. So look, I love y'all. I just want y'all to know that. Um, this has really been an honor, uh, being able to take over, uh, to go live um, with Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts. Thank you, Laura, for uh, contacting me and asking me to do it. Thank you for all of the love and encouragement you've always shown. Uh, Angie, Miss Angie, I've enjoyed your friendship. Uh, thank you for encouraging a brother too, and uh, just being willing to um, 
make necessary change where that needs to be instead of, you know, us allowing things to stay the same. You know what I'm saying? So I applaud y'all for that. And you know exactly what I mean. I can't get into it right now because it's 1029. I got to log out this thing. Um, I hope I didn't uh, cause some of y'all to have to go and get some Adderall because of my movements. But I love you. It's 1030. Y'all enjoy your Saturday. Thank you for being with Kevin King and Art by Kevin King at the King's Canvas. Holla.